Hey guys, this is Katie with Vintage and Vinyl back with another great video for you today. And in this video, we are talking all things Valentine's. I want to wish you guys out there a happy Valentine's Day. Now, I know it's not till Sunday, but for Wednesday, I had to have some fun Valentine's Day content leading up in celebration. And so today we are taking a look at some of my vintage Valentine's decorations. I've got some fun Bistel honeycombs, an aluminum tree all decked out, some red lucite candlesticks, and some fun glass. So I can't wait to share all this with you. So we're going to take a look right now. Got it all decked down here with some true vintage. And the first thing I can't wait to share with you is this wonderful piece of glass here. This is made by Anchor Hawking. It is royal ruby glass. Now this is an ivy vase. This would have had a chain around it so you can hang it up and it would have had a uh, space to put ivy cuttings or really any small plant. Love these. These are really common. You can find them pretty much everywhere in green and various colors that Anchor Hawking made them in. But I love them and it's fun when you find them with the sticker because most people would take the sticker off. So I love this piece of red glass. I think it is gorgeous and it usually does live on my counter all year long, but I've got it here for Valentine's Day. So that's right next to this really neat flower frog and ignore all my notes. I've got some things for one of my future lives on the counter there. This is a lovely gift from Michelle at Newton's Cupboard. She sent me some extra Valentines and I love these. These are record themed and I think they're great. I've got one of these pin type flower frogs that I've displayed them in. The first one is a German Valentine's made in Germany. The camera will pick that up. There we go. And this one says to my dear one, either you're my Valentine or I am full of static. How amazing is this? I love the gramophone. So cute. Thank you so much, Michelle at Newton's Cover. You really hit this out of the park. And on the back, it's got the signatures to and from. I'm not going to try to pronounce that because that's kind of difficult looking to me, but such a sweet little card. I love this. I also have this one from Michelle as well. And it says, Love in Bloom, Station Love. And then it said, Broadcasting Love to My Valentine. She is just so darling. And on the back, it says, Davis from Myrtle. So Davis and Myrtle, great job here. Love those Valentines. I don't know who made it. There's no marks, but definitely an older one. Probably made in USA. Love that. And love, love, love these flower frogs. They're great for ephemera. Now I've got a pair of red lucite candlesticks and I know a lot of you guys are probably going to be drooling over these. I love lucite candlesticks and I love to find them in every color and put them in a window and let the light shine through because they are really magical. I've got them down in a pair of Fostoria coin candlesticks. Now this is first generation acid washed coin and what that means is that this was the first coin that Faustoria ever made. Now, coin is a pattern that's based off of the U.S. Glass Company, who originally did coin, I think it was back in the 1800s. I don't remember the exact date, but they copied that. And you've got these little coin motifs with different uh, Americana designs, like the Liberty Bell going around the outside. Now, you can tell this is first generation acid wash coins because the coins are really crisp and clear around the edges. They're not hazy or fuzzy like some other coin. The U.S. government banned acid washing, so Fostoria had to go to sandblasting. And second generation coin, which is the second line of coin that came out, just isn't as sharp and clear. So most collectors do prefer the first generation acid washed coin. And I think it really does look stunning, so I collect that as well. I think it's gorgeous. Of course, Lancaster Comedy Company did make of course, coin after Faustoria sold the molds and closed down, but they're not as good as original Faustoria coin. So always look for the crisp, clear, acid-washed coins. Love these glass candlesticks with the red lucite candles. They are really stunning, I think. I also have a neat little display here with some shiny brights. Now, some of these were missing their tops and others I ran out of hooks for. So they just sit in this beautiful bowl. Now I think that this is American Cut Brilliance glass. Cut Brilliance glass is very sharp and it shines like a rainbow 
when you hold it up to the light. And this is almost so sharp on the sawtooth edge and on the Hobb Star or Star of David design that it will slice your hand open. So I really believe that this is from the Brilliance period. It is a gorgeous piece of glass and I believe this belonged to my great grandmother. I adore it. And it's got these red shiny brights inside and a wonderful piece of friend mail from Vintage Vinny. He sent me this cool planter's nut cup. Mm, wonderful piece of advertising here. And I love, of course, vintage shiny brights. So I always look for them and the red ones are perfect for Valentine's Day. Now I've got a couple of other things here on my counter. I have a really cool Bystel honeycomb. Now this is the large honeycomb and I got this from Cindy at Mimi's Treasure Cottage. And Cindy had a really good invention. I never thought about this, but the best way to have these old honeycombs stay open if they're missing their little stand is to use paper clips. So she had this great idea with paper clips and string and it works wonders for this honeycomb. You can see Made in USA. The Bicel marks on the back somewhere. This says Be My Valentine and look at those sweet little faces. How darling. I love vintage honeycombs but they're harder and harder to find because this paper is pretty delicate and it really doesn't survive. So when I see vintage valentines like this I always pick it up and I love on the back it says to Pat from Uncle Al and Aunt Joe. How sweet is that? Now to give this little display some height, I used a bowl that I got from Joni at Vintageous Vintage Glass in China. And she's from Canada and she found this amazing red cut to clear bowl with the grapes. Just adore this little piece because I love all things grapes and of course red glass. So I set the Bystel honeycomb inside to give a little height. Of course, sometimes it does fold in, so when you're, when you're setting this down, you've got to be a little careful so that it doesn't fold. You just kind of set it. <laughs> of course, now that I, I'm filming, I can't get this to sit up on camera like I had it. There we go. Perfect. So I really love this little display. I've also got another flower frog. Now this is fun because this is another Valentine's from Newton's Cupboard, Michelle. She sent me this one and it is darling. It says, you are a hit with me, my Valentine. And it's made in USA and it is records. Oh my word, Michelle, you killed it. This is amazing. I just adore this one. And of course, it's from L. Lloyd. So Lloyd, good job. This is a cute Valentine. I love these pin type flower frogs. They're really good for ephemera. And when I find them, I always hoard them because you just don't find these here. So I have a pretty <laughs> big growing collection of them because they're great for things like this. Next to it, I have another piece of glass. Now this is a little bit of a mystery piece. I've had this for several years and I can't find any information on it. I posted it in several glass groups and nobody seems to know. My guess is that this is a piece of souvenir glass or bohemian glass. So this could have been like Czechoslovakian glass. Now it has a mold seam here. So this is molded or pressed. It could be early American press glass. Not swearing to it, not sure. It does have the red flash design. And of course you've got the Hob Star or Star of David. I saw on one of the glass groups there was some controversy on Hob Star and Star of David. Some people were saying that Star of David is only for folks that celebrate in the Jewish faith and that um, Hob Star is what it should be called. So I don't really know. I just think that this is gorgeous. So if you guys know anything about this piece, let me know. It's gorgeous. It does look like it was one of those souvenir pieces that might have had uh, that gold font uh, on the top that just was a blank. So I'm not exactly sure. I love this piece. It usually sits on my counter all year round because I love red, but it's great in this Valentine's display. Now I have this tree here and this is the moment you guys have all been waiting for is to see my aluminum tree. And if you have not watched the video I did with Jamie at Mid-Century Wasted, we went head to head and had a fun tree decorating contest. Now her aluminum tree was very good. She had some amazing placement of things and I loved how she was able to hang her Valentine's Day cards. But I was a little stuck because some of them wouldn't sit up in the branches. 
but thanks to a viewer who was watching, she suggested draping them over the branches, and I think that was very clever. So I love this. It turned out so well. I've got all of my red, pink, shiny brights on the tree here. Love these ones that kind of look twisted. I think those are fun. And then my plain red bulbs, along with my antique Valentine's cards Whitney made. Uh, these are the true first Valentine's Day cards. Whitney is credited with that in the 1880s. And I love these. So I've got some antique cards, some vintage cards, and I just sort of drape them and set them in the branches. And I think they are so fun. This one is one of my favorites, and I got this from Fatbird Finds. They had a wonderful Valentine's Day sale. Newton's cover did as well, and that's where I got the antique ones. But this one was just really funny. We were all laughing about it in the chat. This says, your sugar and spice and everything nice, Valentine's Day Sunday. And if you open it up, it says, your peaches and cream, a bachelor's dream, say you'll be behind my valentine and you've got twin hearts special in a glass by yourself lovers delight sweets to the sweets so delicious super duper special and tootsie fruitsy it says mama papa and wj but what's funny about this is on the back it says all okay 9 a.m so somebody <laughs> use this as a notepad because you know you didn't throw anything away so you recycled everything and they put all okay thursday at 9 a.m so there was a lot of speculation in the chat as to what this was and most people were saying maybe it's a date <laughs> so i think that's great i love that and then this one was made by double glow usa now double glow was the company that made a lot of those uh, vintage christmas boxes you see with uh, the tinsel and the, uh, they had the Double Glow Elf, I think, featured on several. So Double Glow's been around, and I did not know they made Valentine's cards, but that's really fun. So I love that. I've set that kind of pride of place in the branches here. And then, of course, I love, love, love these Whitney made cards. These are antique, as I mentioned, uh, and they are just gorgeous. So I did a whole video featuring these if you want to see more up close and learn about the history of Whitney made Valentine's. Now down here I had to get a little creative because I don't have a proper tree skirt. So I've turned this apron that I wear in the kitchen into a tree skirt. And I have some buttons here that were gifted to me by Debbie at Our Vagabond Travels. Love when things are in the original packaging. That advertising is just awesome. So it's red and plaid and fun for Valentine's Day. And then I have two mechanical cards that Debbie, another Debbie, Debbie Vitale sent me as a gift from Michelle at Newton's Cupboard Sale. And I just adore these. They're in flower frogs as well, the pen type. And these are mechanical. So I'm gonna have trouble showing this, I think without two hands, but this one says, I'm so sad all the while and then you pull her little string or feathers at the top of her hat and her little eyes pop up and it says be my sweetie and watch me smile i just adore this this is so fun so there you can see it in action how cool is this mechanical card now this one was i can't read again it's from eddie to to billy i think and then it's got this fun little card, Made in USA. So I'm not sure exactly who made this, but so fun. I love these mechanical ones. And they're pretty amazing to find because all of this stuff is just getting destroyed over the years. You know, paper ephemera just doesn't last. These weren't made to stick around, they were ephemeral. So it's fun when you find these. This one here says, we won't have to wait for bones, my Valentine, or want for bones my valentine and you got the cute little puppy dog and he is mechanical his eyes move let me try to show you that here there we go can you see his eyes moving back and forth it's a little hard to do in one hand but that's great i love him and this is to lloyd from jenny i think this one's just made in usa as well but very very cute little card here so i've got him and a flower frog now this is it for this area of my apartment. There's the tree a little closer and you can go back and watch that decorating video I did with, of course, Jamie at Mid-Century Wasted. We'll be doing more of these in the future. There was a fun trophy 
up for grabs that Jeffrey at uh, Real Nifty Vintage made. Now at the top, I did use a Beistel uh, honeycomb as well as my tree topper. So some fun things here and uh, hopefully you'll get to see this a little bit more up close. And if you watch that other video, you can see the whole decorating process from start to finish. Okay, so let me show you the last little place that I have all decked out in my apartment. Well guys, we are at my front door, and I know a lot of videos I do feature this when it comes to showcasing some fun vintage decorations, and that's because this is just the perfect place to showcase my ephemera. So I've got magnets again with my door being metal. They work out perfectly, and I have some more Valentines hung on the door. Now I got these, some from Newton's Cupboard Michelle and some from Fatbird Finds, and I just think they are so cute. This one says, hi teacher, it's time we were Valentine's. Let's not waste a minute. Look how cute. And then this one is an antique one, Whitney made. These are all Whitney made here. And then at the top, we have another one. I think this one's from Fatbird Finds too. And it says, to figure you for my Valentine, teacher, I don't need arithmetic. How cute is she? I love that little hat. Now, this one got a lot of chatter in the chat because it does look a little bit naughty, I must admit, but it is cute. And this is the first Valentine's I'm showing you today that is flocked. That means that her dress here is kind of fuzzy feeling along with her bow and his hair. And it says, refreshing and sweet and can't be beat. I'm talking about you, my Valentine, made in USA, and unfortunately, that straw is a little bit poor placement. I don't think the creators of this uh, back probably in the 50s when this was made was really thinking about that, but everyone sees it and now we can't unsee it. So there it is, just cute, really fun. And of course, I love the flocking. Even his cake is flocked. Look at that, isn't that fun? I love this one. This is just great. And then I've got another one, real gone. This one does fold. You can fold its body and its head moves up and down, but I have it magnetized here to the door. This one was from, I think that's Nettie. I'm really terrible at reading some of these names in pencil, so you guys can let me know in the chat what you think that is. But these are just so fun, and magnets work great for an aluminum door or a fridge because you can display a lot of ephemera. So this is just a fun little display. Well guys, that was it for this video. I hope you had fun taking a look at my Vintage Valentine's collection. Now, if you're not following me on Instagram at Vintage underscore and underscore vinyl, you really want to do that because I'm going to share some fun behind the scenes content for you. And of course, some great record content as well. So I'll be seeing you on Instagram in the meantime. And I hope you will stay in, stay safe, and binge YouTube. Bye-bye now.